and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for March 24. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, if you need some awesome low poly assets right now, there's a really excellent humble bundle. Tons and tons of assets for all kinds of games with a super deep discount. Personally, I love this Ancient Empire pack. It always makes me want to make some kind of game like 300. Or for some nice zombies, there's a City Zombies pack. Maybe there's one if you'd like to make some kind of farming game, one if you'd like to make some kind of office tycoon or town game. You've got fantasy characters, nightclubs, icons, even the really useful prototype pack and a really awesome spy kit. So as you can see, tons and tons of really awesome low poly assets to help you make pretty much any game you can imagine. All of it at a pretty low price, just 25 bucks. So go ahead and get it with the link in the description. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a really awesome visual effect that looks just like VHS. It's got quite a few options to add scan lines and some glitchy movement. It looks very good, definitely looks exactly like VHS. So if that's the style you're working for, then this would be perfect. This one works with the volume system, so it's a super easy post-processing effect that you can easily add to any game. Then if you're making a mobile game and you want a quick and easy virtual joystick, check out this one. It is exactly what you expect. It's a virtual on-screen joystick. You just drag it onto your project and it works right away. You can click, drag, to move, shoot, and do whatever you want. And it also includes support for multiple joysticks. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to cover in the tutorial for ages, but if you don't want to take the time to build it yourself, you can just use this free asset. Next, for a fun visual, here is an ice cream truck. It's a pretty nice model, it's low poly with a bunch of colors. Growing up, I loved playing a game called Lemonade Tycoon, where you sold lemonade from a van and customers showed up, so I could see a game just like that being made with this truck model. Or if instead you want an entire city, then check out this one. It looks quite nice, the roads are actually very realistic with the roads, the curb, the lights, and so on. So if you'd like to make your own car game or something like GTA, then this would be an excellent starting point. Next, for a useful tool, here is one to help you add a bunch more control to your coroutines. This is basically a timing system that has a bit more control, like giving it a custom delta time or updating in a specific order. Normally, I build my own timing systems for my games. For example, on Dinky Guardians, I have a timing system specifically to handle the off-world logic, but if you don't want to build it yourself, then this could be a great help. Then, for another fun visual, here is a low-poly excavator. I quite like this style. It's very low-poly with some solid bright colors. It's split into pieces so you can very easily animate it. Looking at this makes me want to make a fun machine control script. I think that would be interesting. And then, if you want to take this further, this dev has tons more machines in the exact same style. Next, here's a super useful tool, it's a script ball object table view. This one is pretty simple and does exactly one thing very well. You can select a script ball object type and it shows you a table with all the objects in all the fields. If you use a lot of script ball objects in your game, then a tool like this one can really help save you a ton of time from having to swap between objects back and forth. Then for another fun visual, here is a low poly zombie hospital character. This could be great for an enemy in some kind of hospital zombie game, maybe something inspired by episode 1 of The Walking Dead. And if you want some more, then this dev has an entire zombie hospital pack. Then, if you want to make your worlds come alive, one way to do that is to add some trees to your world. Here's a free pack with a whole bunch of different ones. There's actually a ton of variety, over 60 trees and bushes in this one free pack. With all different colors, you could very easily make all kinds of biomes. And then, if you're making a game set inside the human body, check out these virus models. There's some spiky round ones, some that are tiny and some with some creepy tentacles. I could imagine a game, kind of like an RTS, where you control the body's defenses against these viruses. With all of these model differences, if you apply some different materials, with some scale differences, you could make a ton of enemy types just from this one pack. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for March 24. There's links in the description, and also check out my own free and assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.